Hello, welcome pen friends. I'm just comparing Mont Blanc Psychedelic Purple with Twisby Royal Purple. And it's really interesting. You can tell they're not exactly the same inks, but when you really get them in the same nib, something interesting happens. So I wanted to kind of show you what I'm coming up with here. Um, here on the left is uh, Mont Blanc Psychedelic Purple. These are the splatters that I made. And this is Twisby Royal Purple. So as you can even see through the camera here, there's a distinct difference uh, in the two inks when you're looking at splatters. And when you look at the chromatography on Psychedelic Purple, it's more complex and it, it shows its difference. Um, we'll go over and, and look at that. Well, let's just do that now. Here's the Twisby Purple. It's much simpler. It doesn't have that extra layer of, of blue in there. But still, then let's look at the water resistance. I did them exactly the same way. This is the psychedelic purple. And then over here is the uh, Twisby purple. And let's back up a little so you can see both of them at the same time. Um, you know, it's, it, it's looking a little brighter over here and, and different, but not by too much. They behave about the same. So then at the top of the page here is each of these in, in the nib. And that's where the differences started to really blur. And it is hard for me to show you. I, I have them each in the, the same pen. I had to label the pens with an M for Mont Blanc <laughs> ink and a T for Twisby because I could get them confused and not know which ink. That's how similar these inks are to me when I'm writing. And I'm going to get right in the middle here so we can see both. Um, they really aren't identical and yet when you get them in a nib the flow is extremely smooth on both of them there's a little bit of subtle shading in each one in fact you may even be able to see the shading just slightly better in the twisby um just a little bit better but i can see it over here in the mont blanc too it's just this tends to be just slightly darker a little bit more saturated so you're that is going to change where the shading you know how the shading looks but uh, so let's just kind of well if we sit in the middle we can see both i think a little bit so like i said it, they've got identical nibs on them it's the uh gen Hao x750s with broad yowo nibs and uh wow so then if we if we start looking at these two inks like um if you were an artist and you wanted to have that extremely saturated purple, you really get a lovely gold sheen on here. And let's see if we can show you. It's going to be really hard probably to do because <laughs> I'm holding the camera today. I'm doing it a little bit differently. But there, there, okay. There's a gorgeous gold sheen when you splatter this ink, the, the uh, Mont Blanc ink. You don't get that with the tw uh, Twisby. What you do get is a little subtle green um, sheen in these parts here, which is probably going to be even harder to show, but I'll try. Let's see. There we go. I think, yeah, there you go. It's kind of a greenish gold sheen. It's more green uh, to my eye. And so you get some really prettiness with each ink, but if you're comparing these two, if you're considering um, purchase of either one, I, I just look at it like, wow, if all you're concerned with is how it's coming out of the nib, you're very, very close. They're not twins. You can see that even through the camera, I'm sure. Um, there's a subtle difference. But you're, you're in the ballpark. You're very, very, very close. And uh, there's a huge price difference. So if we go look for this ink, the Mont Blanc, it's $43 for a 50 mil bottle, making it 86 mil... Um, cents per mil and then the twisby which is still available too they're both limited edition but i don't know for how long more they'll be available you get a small bottle for 650 it's 18 mil so that works out to 36 cents a milliliter you're getting a lot for your money either way but uh and I was thinking about it, I thought, well, if I was just going to use it for art, I probably really would be tempted by this, um, just this is a drastic purple, you know, when, and they're put down exactly the same, the, the same exact technique with the same syringe cleaned out, you know, I do this all the time. So they're getting the same treatment, but uh, for writing, <laughs> I just think that you're getting into a, uh, 
difficulty discerning the two. In fact, I, I did a little test on my husband and <laughs> he said he couldn't tell the difference. And of course, it's different for those of us that play around with fountain pen inks all the time. But what do you think? I think that uh, they're very compatible. They're just a little bit different, but you're in that ballpark of just nice bright purple. And I just wanted to share this with you real quick because <clears throat> I was astounded at the, the, well, the differences and the similarities, but there are more similarities. The way it behaves, the way it feels coming out of these two fairly identical pens, it's almost the same. I had to label them to know which one was which. I, I kept getting confused. And you can't do that when you're doing tests like this. you got to know what you got in there. So <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd bring this to you for what it's worth. There are a few others I could compare it with, but I couldn't come any closer. I, what I was trying to do was find an ink that would be compatible with the Mont Blanc Psychedelic Purple. Um, and be very, very close. And I realized I had it right in-house in this little bottle of uh, uh, Twisby Royal Purple. Whoops, it's not wanting to focus. <laughs> so I hope this helps somebody when you're comparing these two. And in the very least case, it's very much fun for me to do this. So <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.